Hey, Captain Evil, you and what's up, Leo? <laughs> Whoo! My bad. Hey, Leoko Warriors. It's Captain Evil, here for you. On the Coley Oko episode review, this is episode 10. It's a milestone today, episode 10. Finally, I've been wanting to get to that. Obviously, we're going to be doing all 95 episodes. That's a lot. <laughs> Let's get into it. This is going to be episode 10. The girl of my dreams. And that does not say that at all on the, on the title screen. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we start off in Jeremy's room and he's trying to do the Ilita materialization program. And I think it kinda Oh. Uh, I think it kinda went way worse this time because I remember in the episode where Odd perfected it, but then they had to use it on Yumi, they couldn't use it on Ilita. I remember um it like it started off like filling up like the color started filling up in her head to her chest to her arms got like halfway through her body and then the materialization program just stopped working he was like oh man it sucked this time it's like her whole body is filled up and then the program just sucks off and he's like oh you gotta be kidding me he keeps calling himself useless this is gonna suck and then he keeps like he keeps just like downplaying himself and alita comes up she was like jeremy it's okay, you'll, you'll figure it out. And he was like, no, I can't, I'm useless. He was like, do you think we'll get along really well if I do come to Earth and see you? And he was like, yeah. Why? Why, like, why wouldn't we? He said, well, you know, I wouldn't want a friend that's useless. Hardy, hard, hard. <laughs> He's like, hardy, hard. Okay, real funny. I see what you're doing. And then Odd, he comes into the room. And he's like, yo, Jeremy, come on, man. You're going to be late for school. He was like, why is that late? Let me just try one more thing. He starts typing on his computer. He's like, okay. I see what's going on. He closes the door. And then we cut to Aelita. So I'm talking way faster than that. Yeah, okay, that's what happened. I'm talking way faster than what the episode was so on the other side. Uh, we get to Aelita. She's in the mountain zone. And they go to the mountain zone this episode. I think this is a... I think we've seen it before when it's just like traveling through like random zone. But, no, a sector, I mean. But I think this is the first time we actually see it in full and them like running around in there. I think this is the first time they've been there. Like, actually. Anyway, Aelita's just chilling on some random step when well, that step but she's chilling on some random uh cliff or yeah some random cliff she's just chilling there i'm like why are you in a tower anyway she's just chilling there and she turns around and she yells then it just cuts and then we go back to the school with yumi and auric they're pushing some sort of heavy thing and Auric like man this thing weighs a ton and then he i mean he sees like yeah it's been in my family for a generation no for like oh yeah generation because he says like for about a hundred years and he put it in the classroom. She was like, I'm gonna prevail this after I'm done doing my project today in front of the class. He said, man, I don't know what that is, but the what what to call it. <laughs> he says the what to call it wouldn't really match with the drapes in my living room. And they start to walk outside the classroom and Yumi's like, you know what, I just love your vocabulary. And he keeps going, what to call it and thinking about Bob. <laughs> She's like, you know, Lord, I, I love your vocabulary, man. I, I just love your vocabulary. And Tilly and Mia, I get what they're doing. Like she was like, "Wow, I see a really big scoop." And they go inside of Yumi's um thing. Well, the it's like this giant. See, they put them like this giant cabinet, and they go in there, and then she starts recording, and they take off the drape, and it's this huge samurai armor, and Millie's like talking about it, and then it starts to stare. No, no, no. Tamila is talking about it, and then the camera just buzzed out, and it goes to her feet. She's like, "What are you doing?" And Tamia, no, Millie. Yeah, Tamia. She's like, "It kind of scares me." And then the bell rings, and they gotta go to class. My thing is, like, that's not, I don't know, how is that newsworthy? And you're touching somebody else's stuff. You shouldn't be doing that. See, this is why y'all kids you shouldn't be touching other people's stuff, especially like this. I, I, don't, I don't get how to, I mean, it would be cool to see a, this giant samurai armor on, uh, on, oh my goodness, hold up. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all saw that? I got some in my eye. Whoo, man, I, I got right in there, didn't it? Okay. Anyway, I, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to see some samurai armor on the news. It'd be, you know, everybody would get it. But they're saying, like, we'll get the first scoop. Like, they always say that when they do this stuff. Oh, yeah, and they also leave the door open uh, to the cabinet. And I'm like, they always say, you know, this would be the first scoop. They're the only ones doing the school newspapers. I'm not like this competition. I mean, I don't know, another school maybe. I don't, you never hear about another school around this area. But they always talk about, you know, we got to get the first scoop. Y'all make the newspaper. They're going to see what you guys put up there. Ain't no competition to try to outbeat the first somebody else getting on the newspaper for the school. I don't know. 
But anyway, they leave the door open, and then we see two outlets. And then Xana, you know him, he comes in, and he takes over the samurai armor, which is cool. It would have been cool if he gave it a face or just had glowy eyes, but no, nah, this whole episode is just... It's just walking around, has a little a glow tint to it while it's walking around, but you know, it's just no face. I, mean, I guess that makes that a bit cool, though. No face, yeah, I guess it does. Anyway, we cut back to the boys, Jeremy, Orc, and Odd. They're in class, and Jeremy's obviously yawning, he's been up all night. He's like, you know, Orc's like, you know, people use the night to sleep, you know that, right? I've been trying to work on this new materialization program, but you know, it's whatever, I'll, I'll get to it. And Odd is like, you know. What are you even going to say to her once he gets here? You're not really a ladies, man. At least, I don't know. Yeah, he was like, you know, you're not really good talking to the lady. He was like, eh, it's different to a lady. He was like, okay, picture this. Right here, right now. It's going stupid outside. Right here, right now. Picture a leader outside. What are you going to say to her? I mean, outside, like, he sees right in front of you. What are you going to say to her? And at that exact moment, the principal, he's saying that we got a new student. Her name's Tal Talia. To, yeah, her name's Talia, and come in. And as soon as, it's like, it's like Maximum of Odd saying, and then Jeremy's like, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> he starts growing out, like, what in the world? He's like, oh, oh, oh. And then he's like, yep. And then you see, oh, I didn't even notice that. You see uh, Oric, he, uh, he's also like, whoa. And then the camera pans, and that's her right there. This is why it's, it's so, like, my very first time watching this episode, that's her, Talia. My very first time watching this episode when I was a kid. Second time when I rewatched it in sixth grade. The third time when I rewatched it when I found a YouTube channel. But now, it was hard to get through this episode. Like, you, you ever like feel embarrassed for the characters and the show? Like, they do something embarrassing, and you just feel embarrassed too. Like, you're like, yeah, like you try to skip it or pause it. You're like, okay, I gotta get through this later. That's how I felt this whole episode. Jeremy and Spaz and that. This is Alita. Because. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It looks just like like they even start talking outside. Like, he's just staring at her like, huh. Is that Alita? And Yumi's like, well, it does look just like her. But once he recognizes, and Yumi's like, well, I mean, she could have, uh, she could have lost her memory in materialization. And he's like, well, hmm. Or he's like, yeah, maybe. But ain't too, too sure. I'm like, okay, okay. I don't know why nobody brings this up. Nobody brings this up through the whole episode. Do the whole episode. Okay, Jeremy might have a point because in when, in the episodes, it was two episodes where they sold the backstory to how they met each other and how they knew about Lyoko and Alita. And in that episode, Jeremy lost his memories when they went back in time while everybody else didn't. And that's because they went through the scanners and when they got scanned, it like made so they wouldn't lose their memory. I forget what the explanation was, but anyway, he had to, you know, you have to get through the scanners so you won't lose your memories. So, Jeremy's saying she lost her memory when getting materialized. That's 50-50 maybe. Okay, I could, I could buy that. But then you also got to think, maybe, like, how would Alita get to the school? I mean, the factory isn't too far from the school. Maybe she could have won under the school property. But the principal is specifically saying this is a new student. That means somehow she got Parix. She's in the system. Like, how does she get in the system how did the principal even, like, approve her to get into the school? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have all this stuff. Like, they were saying in the last episode, not the last one, but, you know, a few episodes ago, like, you can't just bring a leader to the world right now. You gotta give her a birth certificate. You gotta put her in the school system, somewhere to stay. Like, you know, you gotta get all that before she even go to the school. They're not even saying any of that. All they're saying is, maybe it's a leader. She don't remember us. Maybe she lost her memory. Okay, let's go jog her memory. You gotta be honest. Like, you know, I'm a little ladies, man. I know, I know what to do. Come on. And then Jeremy's like, nah, nah, you know, maybe not. And then all, and all look at each other. And they grab, <laughs> and they grab uh, Jeremy. They start pushing him towards Talia. And then Odd goes, hey, uh, you know, me and my friend I think we've seen you somewhere before. Do you remember us or anything like that? And she was like, wow, that's one of the worst pickup lines. I'm like, who, who says I'm trying to pick you up? I'm just asking a legit question. <laughs> like, who's I'm trying to pick you up right now? He said, you remember anything about virtual bugs or, you know, Xana, anything like that? She was like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like talking. And once he starts to walk away, this man, Jeremy, he goes, who, who are you? Who's your family? <laughs> if I get some dude yelling at me, like, who are you? Who am I? Who's my family? I'm like, yo, you're, 
Okay, hit the brakes. <laughs> you just settle down. And they go back to UB. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, it's not her. And Oryx starts laughing like crazy. He said, man, you only think that <laughs> because she just pushed you aside and started laughing his head off on the school bench. Oh, that was funny, man. He was just laughing like crazy. And then Jeremy goes, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, it was not. <clears throat> and then Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy goes, Or goes, well, that is Alita. She got a knees a bat. Jeremy's like, hmm, you know, that can't be Alita if Alita's on Yoko. I got to check Lyoko. And then the bell rings. They're like, yeah, we'll go check that out after class. And then <laughs> they walk past Yumi. And Yumi says, you'll, uh, you know, wish me good luck on my project I'm going to do. And they just walk past her. And then she just looks at her. I mean, she just looks at them. And then she says it in her head, but it says it sounds like it's out loud. She says in her head, like, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry did another moment happened like that. I can't remember when, though. Anyway, she was like, yeah, yeah, wow, thanks, guys. Thanks for wishing me luck. Anyway, there was a moment in this episode where, like, <clears throat> it says in the subtitles, it says Jeremy, but Odd is talking. Like, you hear Odd's voice saying those words, but the subtitles say Jeremy. It's kind of confusing. Anyway, Jeremy's like, look, while they're in class, he's like, I can't wait any longer. I got to check this out right now. So him and Odd go to the infirmary. You know, that's what they tell the teacher. But obviously, they go to check if, uh, <laughs> obviously, they go to check if I lead us along with Yoko. They're checking it, and Jeremy's not finding her, obviously, because something happened to her when she yelled in the beginning of the episode. Obviously, they don't know that, but he was like, hmm, you know, she's not on Lyoko. That has to be her. Come on, that has to be her. And Odd is telling Jeremy to hurry up because, you know, come on, like, Jim's going to find us. Like, we got to get out of here. Then the very next scene, <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I forget about this. When he starts yelling at Odd that it has to be a leader, that's her. <laughs> this is his face. Like, he starts going bonkers <laughs> like he took something look at this this is hilarious even even oh this man gotta calm down look at this he starts going ballistic it has to be her she he is so happy here it is <laughs> it's her it has to be her it's her look at that come on man anyway we cut to you and me, and she's showing off some random, some random stuff from her culture. Kabuki mask, little sword. She got the, yeah, you, you even got the fan right there. Yeah, you like the, she even got the fan. And she starts cracking jokes, and when she goes to open the samurai armor, obviously it's not there. And she's like, what's going on? It's just a dream. And then she looks to the side, and she sees the outlets, and they're all burnt out. And she's like, oh, Santa. Then you get the title card. Then, in the very next thing, you see the samurai armor walking around. And then Jim is there. And he's like, hey, who are you? What, what kind of costume you got on? He turns around, and he's like, whoa. Uh, he said, hey, what's what's going on, buddy? Like, oh, you good? Then he takes out his sword and starts to run towards Jim. And Jim is just standing there. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, he's just dumbfounded. He's like, whoa. Like, he's like. Look, if I if I if I like see a suit of armor just walking around when he turned around like there's nobody in it, but it's still charging at me with sword. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be dumbfounded. I'm gonna like, whoa. I'm also get 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 out of there. I'm also run. I'm not gonna be like, whoa. Oh, uh, what? And the last thing we see of Jim is just him looking dumbfounded, like what? And then the samurai sword gets raised up, and then it just cuts. And then we go to the cafeteria. <laughs> we don't see Jim for the rest of this episode. I don't know why, but Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to Jim, but man, hopefully it's good. Anyway, Jeremy, he's still spazzing because they're thinking like, hmm, you know, uh, no, no, no. Yumi tells the group about what happened and the samurai armor's gone. And they're like, hmm, maybe Xana. But if it is, we can't really do too much about it because we ain't got Alita. She's not on Lyoko. And Odd, I mean, not Odd. Jeremy, he actually gets up and starts yelling. He was like, of course she's not on Lyoko, Odd. She's not only Oko. She's there. Oh, no, see, he doesn't say that, but, you know, she's here, Odd. And they all look at uh, Talia. She's sitting by herself eating. And then Yumi's like, eh, nah, I, I just can't buy that. That's Alita. I just can't buy that. I, I, just, I just can't. Then the principal and some police officers come in. <laughs> the, the principal and the police officers come in. And the principal says that this semi armor has been attacking some students, and he has attacked Jim, who we all respect. <laughs> he actually says like, like, oh, who we all respect. And I go, okay, let's not get too crazy here. You know, he has some like attack some people. They are pretty hurt. 
He has to say Jim died, so I'm guessing he just got cut up. He just got cut up. Anyway, uh, he was like, you know, if you got any information about where the samurai armor came from or who's in it and attacking people, please let the police know. And obviously, the police go to Yumi because she was like, you know, that's her samurai armor. <laughs> that's her armor. <laughs> so they go get her. Then, in the very next scene, this man Jeremy goes. I think, yeah, the girls are upstairs, the boys are downstairs. Yeah. So he goes upstairs to the girls' room and he just, jeez, man. He didn't even knock or nothing. Look at this. He didn't even knock or nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, he just busted into Talia's room and he's like, you know, uh, Xana's taking over a Simmeray armor. We have to go back to Lyoko. Come on, Alita. And then she starts smiling like she kind of likes Jeremy. She's like, wow, that's that's pretty unique uh, pickup line if you're trying to get one. And then Jeremy grabs her. He's like, come on, we got to go. So get your hands off me. What are you doing? And then you hear some noise in the background. Oh, I hate this scene, man. I was like, Jeremy, stop. Like, think for a moment. My goodness, I hate, I hate this episode, man. I hate it. Anyway, the semi armor comes into the room. Obviously, they dodge the first slice attack. And they start running. And when they run down the hallway... They make the hallway longer, and then they make Talia and Jeremy start running like track stars. Like, look at this. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of boost they get. Yeah, what in the world? When, when the Samurai Armor, <laughs> when the Samurai Armor comes into the room with the sword, she's just like, she's gonna do something. Look at this. But she's gonna do something. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm not gonna let you take her, Zeta. And she's just like, what, what are you doing? Jeremy, look at this. They start running down the hallway and they get some sort of speed boost. <laughs> they just were zooming hard, real hard. And the same thing happens when they go outside and then go the corridor. They're not like running super fast, but they make it like really longer, like than it used to be. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's the runtime. <laughs> I guess the runtime. Anyway, Jeremy cuts the corner. For some reason, Talia just stands there for a second and starts to scream. And then she starts running. So now they were like both beside each other, but now like she's like a few feet behind him. I don't know why they did that. I mean, I don't know why she did that. I mean, yeah, I mean why. I don't know why she did. I don't know why he did that. Anyway, the Samara Armor walks into the boiler room and it just walks out. And then we see the police interrogating Yumi about like, you know, is that your is that your armor? Well, I mean, yeah, it's my mom. You know, it's my parents, but you know, it's not technically mine. Well, where is it? And then they just cut to Yumi. I mean, they just cut to Odd and Oryx sitting behind the principal's office. And Odd is like, you know, we can't really do too much for Yumi right now. We got to go to Lyoko and deactivate the tower. And Yumi, I mean, Jeremy calls, I mean, Oryx calls Jeremy. He's like, I want the voicemail. And Jeremy takes Talia to the office. I mean, to the factory. He takes her to the factory. And they go up to the computer room. And then he like, this is this is Lyoko, you know, <laughs> this is where you're from. And he starts to explain like Xana and stuff, and, and she's like, yo, this is pretty dangerous. Why don't you just shut this down? And he's like, well, we can't shut it down because you used to, oh, you used to live there, but you don't. So like, yes, if it's that dangerous, just go ahead and shut it down. And he was really finna. He like, he starts to type. But then my boy Jeremy, I mean my boy Oric, my boys Oric and I just bust in, not bust, but they, you know they're in the elevator. I don't know how they get there that fast, <clears throat> but they get up to the elevator and they're like, Jeremy, stop! This is like, <laughs> what are you doing? There's a possibility you're making a mistake right now. What if Alita's is still there? But she can't see right here. You don't know nothing for sure. This is who, see, this girl don't even know what you're talking about. We gotta make it. We gotta go to Yoko and deactivate the tower. But what if this is Alita? You're not gonna do nothing. You like, you guys can't do anything there. You gotta take the chance, Jeremy. Just let us check before you deact before you kill Alita. <laughs> like, you know, you gotta let us check, Jeremy. Like, settle down, man. <sighs> okay. Fine, okay, you go. <laughs> and they go. And he sends him to Lyoko, man. I got so happy. I don't know how it man. This is the pinnacle of coincidences. Co uh, like a biggest coincidence, man. Woo, this is the biggest coincidence. Anyway, they're on Lyoko and in the mountain sector. And then Jeremy starts to talk to Talia, but she's gone. She ran away to go get the police and the principal. I hate her, bro. She could never be a Lyoko warrior. She ain't like that. She's pretty nice. Halfway. Pretty nice right here. Anyway, he says that Xana activated the tower <clears throat> in the forest sector. 
Well, they ain't really no good to us since we're in the mountain sector. But the last place that he saw Alita was the mountain sector, so they start to run around. And odd, he gets a little vision that Alita's inside the Guardian. She's inside the Guardian. He gets a vision. He's walking around. He's like, huh? And he acts like this is the very first time it happened because Ad, when that happened, Odd is like, whoa, hold up. I got some sort of flash vision. I don't know what that was. But he, he acts like it's the first time it happened. I don't know why. And because it isn't like an origin story or anything like that. So I don't know why he just was like, what in the world? Anyway, he calls Yumi. <laughs> he calls Yumi. Oh, yeah, I forget about this. Anyway, Yumi gets out of the principal's office. It, after after the flash vision, Yumi gets out of the principal office and she's starting to walk out. And Talia starts to walk in. So they pass each other. When they pass each other, they're, like, they're just looking at each other like this. Yeah, they just look at each other. And Yumi's like, and then, he, and then she calls Jeremy. Jeremy's like, what's up? She was like, hey, I just got the principal's office, but I just saw... To me, Talia just walked towards Prince's office like, oh, mad or whatever. And Jeremy's like, oh, shoot, man. She's going to tell them. I, I brought her to the factory. You what? <laughs> she was like, you what? Are you kidding me? What are you doing? Like, what in the world? I'll be there right away. And then we cut back to Odd and Oink, and they see the Guardian in the distance, and they jump off a cliff. <laughs> and I guess they take no fall damage in the Yoko. That's a good thing, because they would have died, and they take fall damage. Anyway, they jump down, and they get to the Guardian. And then they're like, well, the last time we dealt with this, I lead them in a clone of Yumi to get them out of there. But we ain't got a leader now. So all we got to do is brute force. Our suits a little bit, or he tries to slash it. Nothing really works. And I'm like, Jimmy, what are you going to do? Jimmy's like, Xana must have made a program, but a program. I got it. And he starts to type on his computer for a little while. And while this is happening, the samurai armor is chasing and fighting Yumi. And at the exact same time, Talia is bringing the police. <laughs> yeah. Alita is bringing the police and the principal to the factory and she exactly and she knows i don't know how she remember this she got like good memory but see they get in the elevator because she because jeremy like oh no she remembered the exact password i typed in to get to the computer room this is bad i'm like she remembered all that that quickly and yumi's yumi, like it keeps cutting like back and forth and yumi she like she's putting up a good fight against the summer armor she finds some random pipe on the ground and she's like clashing with it and fighting it like crazy and, you know, you mean, you put up a good fight now. Like, she, she, she ain't no slouch. <laughs> My girl, you mean, ain't no slouch out here. Anyway, Jeremy's able to make a clone of Alita. I saw a, did a, a digital clone. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, on his face. When they go to Lyoko, the animates and change. And it's so funny. Anyway, they uh they get to Lyoko. I mean, I mean, not, they get to Lyoko. My bad, my bad. Jeremy makes a clone of Alita. Obviously, the Guardian takes that. And when Alita get it, I mean, when Alita did it, it took the clone and then spit out the original. But this time, I guess Jeremy made it to explode because as soon as it sucks up the fake Alita, the Guardian just explodes. It explodes. And they're like, get her to a tower. Come on, we got to go. And they get Alita to a tower, restore her life points. And they're like, okay, let's do this. They get to the forest sector. And they all start to tea pose. <laughs> they legit, like, they really do. They all start to tease pose. And they fall down and they go to the forest sector. And you know what I mean? She's hiding in the um, a locker room from the samurai. And they're like, oh, Alita, thank goodness, man, you're okay, you're okay. <clears throat> and they get to the forest sector, and, like, and Jeremy's like, okay, the tower is due east. And then Jeremy, and then I goes, okay, any good news? Good news. Okay, well, the samurai armor is attacking Yumi, and I can't reach her right now. Uh, Talia is coming up the elevator with the police and the principal, and there are two blocks right behind you guys. So, you yeah, know, okay break <laughs> like, okay that's uh, that's the whole situation right now fellas so let's do this <clears throat> and it's two blocks and he says that those gel guns can take you guys out so be careful and it does odd just shot once he he takes out one before he get, before he dies but pff, wait wait a minute no 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 my bad i mean or he he stays behind to fight the blocks and then odd goes with alita um auric I mean, or yeah, Oric stays behind to take on the blocks, and then Odd goes with Alita. Oric, he uses triangle triangulate to kill one of them. <clears throat> well, he uses triangulate, he kills the clones, 
and then Auric uses impact and he kills one of the blocks. But then the block freezes Auric and then kills him instantly one shot. That is wild. That is one shot. They usually do have a laser one and an ice one. But Jeremy specifically said these bullets they have now like gel. So I guess they do extra damage when they do um when they do ice. And that's a lot of damage because Auric got frozen once and he just died. <laughs> he just died off the bat of all his life points. Like that is wild. And they never took someone out that quickly. <laughs> My goodness. And the other block tries to come up on Odd. And Odd, I'm pretty sure he just suits it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He suit, they suit, the, the block suits like two or three times. Odd flips around and blocks it. And he, he does like a backflip around the block. And he's midair. And then, boom, suits it. Boom, Alita goes in there. And at the same time, uh, the principal and the police are yelling at Jeremy to explain everything. Jeremy's like, I can't. I'm sorry. My friends are in danger. And they start to grab Jeremy and take him out the seat. And then, uh, um, yeah, Alita. I was gonna say Alita. Yumi, she's fighting the, um, she's fighting the samurai armor, but it's overwhelming her, and she trips. And right before, it, like, comes down with the sword, back to the past because Alita was able to get into the tower and call Lyoko. So we all good. Then the very last scene of the episode is Jeremy Ork and Odd. Jeremy Ork, yeah, they're in the classroom. And then we get the exact same scenes as he went back in the past. The way he, this is a new student come in here. And Oryx said that Sissy said that she's an orphan. That's why she didn't like to talk about her family. And I was like, oh, okay, that's, man, that's kind of messed up. And then Jeremy starts to go on and on about, you know, if you look really closely, they're pretty different. You know, Alita has different eyebrows. Look at her mouth. Like, you know, it would be crazy. Like, you guys were really dumb and stupid to think that that was Alita. Or like, did you say we thought? What are you talking about? And Odd is just laughing. Then we cut back to Yumi giving her presentation again. And then when they saw off the samurai armor, obviously it's there. And they start the camera pans up from the head and goes down to the feet. And they see that Jimmy took away the sword. <laughs> and she put some shackles on the feet of the armor. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. I thought that was pretty I mean, I'm pretty if Xana does take it over, I'm pretty sure you could break that, maybe. I doubt it, but that it was pretty funny how Yumi just put the little shackles on the samurai armor <laughs> that that was pretty funny i like that the detail like yeah you're not you're not moving again <laughs> you're not moving and then that's the end of the episode this was a good episode i liked it it was just oh, I, 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 honest, no okay i liked it because it had some good stuff in it but most but overall i didn't like it because man like just the stuff with jeremy like not thinking and yelling and yelling at his friends and thinking like this has to be a leader i'm like you're not thinking man like how would she get into the system? How would they find the school? Why would the principal introduce her as a new student? Like she should just be some random girl in the in the woods. You know what I'm saying? Like that didn't make any sense. But yeah, I, I understand what Jeremy's coming from. That they even said like Jeremy, we understand you've been waiting for this moment for months, but she need to settle down, buddy. <laughs> like you need to settle down. It's not a leader. It can't be a leader. Obviously, it wasn't. First couple of times watching this though, it, it was tough for me to get there. I had to pause it a few times. Like, man, my boy Jeremy. Like, I started like, you ever feel like, like I said, you ever feel embarrassed for your characters in the show? Like they're doing something, you're like, like you start to feel weird, and you have to pause and like, oh, okay, okay. You, you try to like skip through that moment. Like, yeah, I feel it. Sometimes that happens to me. But like, uh, that moment in Madagascar too, <clears throat> and uh, when Alex started dancing and tried to explain like, um, they were in a plane and it crashed and stuff, and he was like just dancing around, like you know, we were in a big middle bird. That whole moment, the very first time I watched it, I was like, I was like, when is this going to be over? Like, I'm feeling so nervous and anxiety. Just me watching this. Like, legit, I was just feeling all that. Just me watching it. It was like, ugh. <laughs> I just couldn't stand it. But, yeah, that was, uh, we got the episode 10, fellas and ladies. We got the episode 10. Big milestone. We got a long way to go. <laughs> we got a long way to go. But we got the episode 10. I'm happy. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all out there for being wonderful and beautiful and handsome human beings. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.